explain a little bit the code base? Just a simple yeah. project, right? Yeah, this is just a simple project. So it's just like um, an empty part, or I mean, I made it empty. So <laughs> I'm allowing to share in code, but uh, it's uh, the structure, basically the uh, a part of the structure of our apps. So you can see here, the problem is that we have a big, big a monster dependencies, <laughs> which, uh, you know, each contains all of the dependency that we need in the app. So whenever we want to inject a dependency into like a view model or to class, we use this monster dependency. And because this monster dependency has everything inside, we like very convenient use the, the child dependencies. So very convenient. But now I figure out that it's like, you know, we violate the uh, interface regression uh, principle. So we are using, we are not using all of these dependencies. For some view models, some classes, we use only one or two dependency in this monster dependency. And okay. yeah. And that's why when we are mocking um, the dependency for testing, we are forced to, you know, instantiate all of these uh, dependency, even though we don't use all of them. Okay, so you mentioned the interface segregation principle. Yes. It says the clients shouldn't depend on methods, uh, properties, or details. Yeah. They don't use or need. In this case, we have a dependencies protocol that exposes all the dependencies, and we pass mm -hmm. this dependency protocol to a view model, for example. Yeah. But this view model only needs the user manager. It doesn't need the cart manager. It doesn't need the catalog. It doesn't need the other dependencies. So we are exactly. exposing details they don't need. And that's why yes. it's a violation of the interface segregation principle. Mm -hmm. And what is the problem with exposing more details they need it? Problem is every time there's a new dependency here, maybe you add a new feature and this feature now needs a uh, friends manager. <laughs> you need to add another yes. thing to this protocol and they need to recompile, redeploy all the dependency. Exactly. All the other modules yes. depend on this protocol. Because of one feature needed it, you need to now solve this dependency everywhere. It's gonna break everything, yeah. So that's why clients should not depend on details they don't use or need. Because then you can make changes in specific parts of the application without affecting unrelated parts of the application. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned here in tests, for example, if we added another dependency there, we would have to update our mocks. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. To also implement the method, even if we don't need it. Right? We yeah. don't need it, but we need to. Otherwise, we cannot compile the project. Right. Yeah. So that's why we want to eliminate those unnecessary dependencies as much as we can based on the project needs. Okay. So yes, that's a violation of the interface segregation principle. And whoops, here's need. So do you have any specific question about how to solve this violation? Yes, I have um, a solution in my mind, but I just want to like reconfirm <laughs> with <laughs> you guys. Um, th there's two solutions, I think. So first, um, we inject those dependency uh, independently, I mean, um, separately. I mean, yeah. in the view model, we don't uh, inject like dependency, the huge monster dependency, but we inject like user managers or a catalog service um what do we need just need mm -hmm. uh this is one um solution but you know in each of the manager or services we also have different methods so in this view model probably we let's say we use only two one or two methods from each of the services so this is also a problem i think and then okay. i I thought of another solution that we just define which method we need, exactly which method we need in the B model, and create a protocol for this um, you know, specific services, and then compose from these dependency 
so extract you know uh, the the exact method we need into this uh, into this particle. And when testing, we're just like mocking this uh, method. We don't like keeping the, uh, the other methods empty like before. Right. Yeah. So let's make this more concrete. Let's say we have a view model and it needs a user manager, right? The solution one using this dependencies protocol is to pass it in the initializer as dependencies. And then you would say self dot user manager equals dependencies of user manager. That's the first solution you, you you mentioned, right? Yes, and even if we have like we need like uh, let's say catalog service, then we also inject like uh, catalog service. Ah, okay, this is what we have we we have at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Let's say you also need a catalog service. And then you say self dot catalog service go because dependencies dot catalog service. Yes. The problem with the solution is what we just explained. It violates the interface segregation principle because it exposes details we don't need. And every time we change this protocol because some other feature has some different requirements, we need to recompile, redeploy everything. So it doesn't scale well in a modular design. Mm -hmm. In a centralized place to have all dependencies, it doesn't scale well. If you're passing this protocol, like this as through all the other classes, right? Mm -hmm. So another way you can do it is to add the dependencies directly. So if you need a user manager, you say user manager and catalog service, catalog service. Exactly. Be explicit about what the class needs. So in this case, the view model is going to be explicit that, hey, I need a user manager, a catalog service, and that's it. Yes, and then um, so let's say we have we even we depend on like five or ten dependency. We also listed here, right? All of them. No, oh, but that's another problem. Exactly. Constructor <laughs> over injection. <laughs> and also, it's like perfect. in 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 each of the the the, the, the service or manager, we have like every has ten methods, but we use only one or two of them. Also a violation, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mm -hmm. it's in a more granular level. You know, it's the same problem with the, the ISP. You know, it just happens inside the the protocol of the dependencies protocol now. You know, but you know the the idea remains the same. And yeah, for example, maybe you have get user, save user, yeah. or other methods, but the view model only uses get user. Mm -hmm. Then you're exposing more details than it needs. Exactly. Yeah. This may become a problem as well in a modular design because you're exposing more details that you need, which means you are sharing this interface with other functionalities that maybe will change for different reasons. And every time you change one, you break the other or you affect the other somehow. Mm. Right? And if they are in different modules, now you have a problem because you change something more module, you need to recompile an unrelated module. <laughs> and you don't yes. want that. <laughs> That'll be very hard to maintain. But if they are in the same module, then maybe it's okay sharing that interface because they are changing together. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? So it really depends on how you're structuring and how you're sharing these protocols. Mm -hmm. So instead of passing a dependencies that exposes all the dependencies, you pass only what you need. Exactly. And then you maybe say, well, but now I, I need to pass 10 dependencies to my view model. It was like, you, it, this didn't change. This, this view model still has 10 dependencies. The only difference is yes. that now you exposed that this view model has 10 dependencies. And maybe you need to remove those, those dependencies. I need to simplify. If I understand correctly, the dependencies protocol came along because of the constructor over injection, correct? Like this was the solution instead of passing 10 dependencies, okay, I'm going to group them in one protocol and I'm just going to pass the protocol, but it just masquerades the problem, you know, in a way. <laughs> so it, the, the problem remains the same, you know, like uh, this, this class is doing too much and mm. you're going to, you're going to violate the, the ISP uh, by doing so. Yeah. I learned this was from Jay Brains. Mm -hmm. The way they explained this to me in a way they understood 
the problem with passing dependencies like this. It's the same as you going to the shop and you're going to buy something and they say it's $5 and then you give your wallet to the person working there and say, there's $5 inside this wallet, you can get it. <laughs> so you're passing the wallet yes. and then the client needs to extract what he needs from the wallet. Yeah. <laughs> there, may be more in, there may be more than $5 in the wallet. <laughs> Yes, maybe you're exposing <laughs> <Right>. your uh, <laughs> social security is in yeah. there, your credit cards are there, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good example. <laughs> yeah. So instead of passing the wallet, pass exactly what you need. And you mentioned, yes, you may be exposing more details than needed in a protocol if it has more methods than the view model needs. And if you're sharing this protocol with components in different modules, then you would create a separate protocol specifically with what the view model needs, not to expose these external details to it. With only the method that I need, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So we have three methods, but you only need one. Yeah. Create another protocol for the view model with only what it needs. Yeah. And you stop sharing details across modules. Yeah. But this can be hard to do, or at least to think about it and reason about it. If the view model, for example, is responsible for coordinating, let's say a whole screen, right? Instead of just maybe a small part of the screen. And then you have many view models doing that. Right. So if you have like just one view model coordinating the whole screen, then of course you're going to have all the dependencies there. And that's going to inflate the class, right? So one way to think about it is segment, you know, break it down <laughs> into smaller components. 